Hey everybody, this is a, a video on the knives that I've restored. Now I've gotten these from a uh, thrift store, uh, most of them from eBay. And in the process, I found a couple. I had this little journey of, uh, I'll tell you about that later. What got me started on it is Tom with Knife Delights. Uh, I'm gonna put his link in the description of my channel of this video. And I'm sure everybody's already uh, subscribed to him. But if you're not, subscribe to him. He does fantastic work, has great content, such a nice guy. I won this. He was he did a giveaway. And this is a knife he restored. And I was watching the video of him restoring it. I think it was in two parts. He can correct me later. But I believe it was in two parts. And on the second part, or the first part, uh, whatever it was, I won. He notified me, emailed me, and he said I won it. And this is a Forest uh, Master. It's kind of a camp knife. And he restored it. And what I'm going to do, we're going to do an overhead shot. Uh, this is what I keep them in. Isn't that cool? Nice little box for that kind of stuff. Marbles. Okay, let me get the camera set up. And we'll look over these. Okay, guys, I emptied the box out. I bought it, this, I got a marbles that I bought and it had the box and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna save that box for something. So they still, they still have these. Really nice box and I keep these, these are the ones I got off of eBay or thrift store. Okay, to start off, this is the one, there it is. This is the one that Tom, I went off Tom's site. This is the uh, Forest Master. Okay, I believe it's a, uh, yep, it's a Colonial USA. And I watched the two videos. I thought, you know what? That'd be a fun hobby. And, you know, he's so relaxed and humble. And he just talks right through the uh, the process. I thought, man, I got to get into that. And I'll tell you why. We'll see you in a minute. Inside here are knives that I inherited. My, my mom and my niece got them together. They were my father's and my father's father, my father's father's father. And they handed it down to me on a visit last year, a couple of years. No, actually, it was about three, four years ago. And I brought them back home and just set them off to the side. Once I saw this video, I'm so thankful to Tom and uh, doing this video on Knife Delights. Again, I'm going to put his uh, channel in the description of this video. Uh, because of him, I was able to uh, bring some life back to those I inherited. A lot of memories. Anyway, that's the one that Tom did. And I'm just gonna go through these quick. Here's a buck. And if you saw the conditions of these, that's the whole thing. When I go on eBay, that's what's fun. You can get, I mean, you're talking, you can get inexpensive price. I'm talking around $10, okay? And in the process, you look these things up, research them, and you find out the, the model, what year. And it's just a fantastic hobby, very educational. And the rewards you get from, if you saw this before and what you're seeing now is just incredible. So that's the buck. Here's an Uncle Henry. I'm going through them kind of quick. I got to pay attention to the, uh, the video here. All functional now. Some of them I could even open up. Look at this K-Bar. Yep. The only thing I never got, there's a couple of them where they, they, uh, they do sell, they do on eBay, you can win a, a bid on, a, on like 12 pieces. Uh, there's a couple where they had missing blades and everything. I don't get into that. That, uh, you know, the knife doctor, he's the, uh, he's the professional in that stuff. Taking them apart, replacing the blades. I'm just uh, learned to restore them, and it was such a hot. I need to get back into it a little bit sometimes, kind of change up. This is a, uh, I wonder if this is the one. This was a no name. This was thrown in. I won a bid on, uh, I forget which one. Anyway, the seller just threw this one in, just for the heck of it. It was total rust. I mean, rust, uh, welded shut rust. And I brought that one back. Brought it back. Check this out. This is Japan. 
all it showed was like I, I saw the red I thought you know what and I did this on multi buy too with another couple of knives I saw that red everything else was kind of rust uh, messed up you can see where yeah you can see it was well used but yeah I brought this one back this is like probably one of the smallest knives I own and I just love it absolutely love it I'm trying guys Okay, this is a colonial. This was real this was messed up. This one came out really good. So that's a colonial. Um this Camp King, the covers on it are still a little messed up. All I could do is clean them up. But all the rust, you can see how pitted it was. See that? This one was in really bad shape. I got it all cleaned up inside. Uh, that's the best I could do on the covers, but you know what? I probably got that about 10 bucks. And I got into the uh, camp knife uh, <laughs> models. That's because of Tom Knight Delights. Look at this one. This is a Sears Craftsman. So I was looking up the dates on this, and this is just one of my pride and joys right here. USA made. Isn't that cool? That's a Sears Craftsman. Speaking of which, this is a brand new Sears Craftsman. I didn't have to do anything to this. All I had to do was clean it up just a little bit. It's brand new in the box. Check that out. Unused USA. Sears Craftsman. Love it. And with that, I got a brand new Cub Scout knife in the box. Didn't have to do anything with this. I mean, look at this. This is the one with the, uh, there's the official knife right on the blade. Camelus USA. Okay, I'll tell you something about these two. And then here's one I got. It doesn't have the Boy Scout on there. And then this one's brand new, didn't have to do anything. I had to clean this one up. You can see where it had a bad pit right here and it was pretty rusted. So that cleaned up really nice. And this one I didn't have to do. Check that out. Okay, so I think these two were the same year. No, what it is, I once I started getting to the camp knives and these, I, I got on this kick where I wanted to find, because I, I lost mine. I lost mine when I was a kid. So I had to find one around the 1963, 65 era, maybe a little later, and I found it. So I cleaned it up and did it, and I thought, you know what, my late son, uh, bless his heart, man. He was in a uh, scouts and I was a cub master. So I had to search for one for 1977, uh, 1980, early eighties. And I found it. So that's, what's awesome about that. Okay. Let's set these off to the side and thanks to Tom, excuse the box. There's going to be other stuff in here, but I set this off the side. I'll just go to them. This was mine about 1977 and it was a mess yeah I tore it up I tore it up so I restored that one this was my grandfather's okay this is a Campbellus this was really rusted in fact it still has it way down in there I tried everything but I'm pleased with the way, way it came out. It's just really old. One of my grandfathers, you could, this was really taken care of. This is a K bar. Really taken care of. You can tell the sharpening. There's the K bar. Just really great shape. I had to clean it up to see the K bar but that's just because it's been sitting, you know, all these years. 
So this is all family stuff right here. This was uh, my father's hunting knife when he was a kid, K3 and Westcut. Okay. So he handed it down to me. I kind of reprofiled the tip was kind of broken. I did that. I did the messed up sharpening. But yeah, he gave it to me. And look here, after even a kid, I had to drill a hole or puncture a hole. I think I used an ice pick so I could put a stra uh, uh, leather uh, thing to it because I was, I was trying to be an outdoorsman. You know what I mean? But isn't that cool? And then these were my father's. These were really rusted. This is Germany, 634. Uh, York, York, York Cutlery, York Cutlery right there. That was really rusted. And this one has the, the chief, the chief emblem on it, which was unusual. Cause I did research on that and uh, usually uh, that was like a special run, I believe. Okay, and here's another one. This is number 59X. This was very rusted. This is uh, EC Cutlery, Solingen, Germany. You can see where that was really pitted. Okay, I think that's it. It is it. And these are my knife restorations. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Again, a shout out. Thank you so much, Tom, especially because of this. This was fun. Getting the Cub Scouts, I'm going to move those in this box. You know what I mean? This is my family thing right here. So I'll move the Cub Scouts in here. But thank you, Tom, because of you, I was able to bring these back. I showed my family, and they just freaked out. You know what I mean? So again... These are my knife restorations. I wanted to share it out to you. And really, shout out to Tom with Knife Delights. Sigh out.